What up, guys? Can you hear me? I'm going to do a mic check. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me in the chat? Awesome. Awesome. Okay. For some reason, uh, there was a delay in the message getting there. I just want to do a mic check real quick. The leading causes of death in the United States are cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Traditional soul food, poor diet, malnutrition, smoking and drinking causes the majority of these diseases. Fresh food in my blender, pinch of ginger, great blood cleanser. It's the art of good nutrition. No graveyard inside the kitchen. No salt, no hypertension. No junk food goes in my engine. Strictly fruits and veggies, beans and seeds and nuts and berries. Pippin'. No dairy milk I'm pouring. It's just water, honey, almonds. Wake up early in the morning. Give thanks, baby. Slice of orange. Drink water, stay hydrated. My health, I won't violate it. So thankful for my lady. Vegan mashed potato gravy. She made it with Lots of love, you got them pots on fire, baby. Faithful to my dialogue. When we fast, I like it raw. Coffee causes high cholesterol and makes you visit. Healthy food is costly, but but being sick is more expensive. We all what we eat. This is a natural fact. What we put in, we get back out, and it's as simple as that. That's why I promise myself to stay on top of my health and not take care of myself because my health is my wealth. Help me live. Doctors ain't gon' save us, we have to save ourselves. Invest in good prevention, cause healthcare is high as hell. RBG fit club prescription, knowledge, exercise, nutrition. Get rest and stay consistent, new tradition, ancient wisdom. No act, no alcohol, italics, my protocol. No white sugar, not at all. Diabetes, Prilosol, take that candy from the baby. Instead, let him have a kiwi. If the kids don't eat their veggies, then no TVs. How they eat it? Exercise. Creates endorphins, roll up, play, and skate and walk. Caution what you put your fork and chew it well and watch your portions. Read the label, choose organic. It's good for you and the planet. Children copy from their parents. Hold a family, raise the standards. We all what we need. This is a natural fact. What we put in, we get back out, and this is simple as that. That's why I promise myself to stay on top of my health and not take care of myself because my health is my wealth. Help me live. According to the Journal of the American Medical Association, the overconsumption of red meat has been linked to diseases such as colon cancer, heart disease, high blood pressure, and increased cholesterol. The longer the meat sits in your body, the more bacteria and free radicals build up. That buildup can lead to cysts, calcification, bowel troubles, polyps, and linked to strokes, heart attacks, and clogged arteries. Luckily, all of these health problems can be prevented and probably cured on a healthy vegan diet. You don't have to be a vegan to be healthy, but eating a 98% balanced vegan and organic diet is optimal for good health and longevity. Commercials run all day, keeping our minds focused on supersizing and overindulging. Use that time to read, write, exercise, or meditate. Healthy living. What up, fellas? What's going on, man? How's everybody doing out there, bro? How's everybody doing on this Friday, man? It's a beautiful Friday night outside. Gigantic moon. The mood is right. The energy is right. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody's taking care of their health. All right? That's very, very important in these days. All right? You guys know 
as they talking about bringing these lockdowns back, right? They talking about bringing the lockdowns all the way back, y'all. We got to wake up, man, on what's going on out here in this society, bro. All right. And you got to take care of your health, man. Look, it's not all about ego in 2023. All right. There's a lot of shit going on out here. People are barely making. People are starving. All right. People out here can't afford meals, bro. All right. I got more homeless people than I ever seen in my life around the area that I live in, bro. Okay. I'm trying to tell you that. All right. On some real shit. All right. It's bad out here, bro. All right. And these lockdowns is coming back. So that means now you got to jump on your health. I know y'all probably been playing. I know most of y'all out there probably been playing with your health, bro. Still eating some junk food, right? Still eating some fast food, right? Still going out and eating a whole bunch of sugar and candy, right? Keep it real. Keep it real, bro, all right? And winter's about to roll in, all right? And when they're already talking about there's a new variant floating around in the summer. So what you think's about to happen when it gets cold outside? What you think's about to happen? People's about to get sick, bro. The kids just went back to school, and you know just as well as I know, every single time these kids go to school, they bring something back home, and it's just a matter of time before it spreads to each and every one of us. Am I lying? Am I lying? All right? So your health is very, very important, bro, and you got to stay on top of it, G. All right? Even if that means putting down all those delicious meats we talking about especially that red meat that's fucking up and clogging up your arteries bro all right it's gonna cause you a heart attack soon one day it's gonna catch you bro all right it's getting harder and harder out here to find naturally good grown foods grown by the planet i'm trying to tell you it's harder and harder out here to find good healthy okay pesticide, herbicide, fungicide free, all right, foods to eat to power your temple. And they wonder why people are walking around here, all right, with so such low vibrational energy, all right? It's because your body is electric, bro, okay? Your body is electric. It runs on high alkaline foods. I bet you right now you can't tell me how many alkaline foods that you eat in a day? Probably one to none, all right? And that's the foods that we're supposed to be eating, bro, to uplift our mood, to, get, to make us be who we really are, alkaline foods. What do I got here right in front of me, bro? I'm sitting here slipping on some, some watermelon juice, all right, that I made, all right? Watermelon juice, bro, all right? And here's the thing. This ain't no seedless watermelon, G. This is seeded watermelon. Let me ask you a question. How many out there that are shopping around in the world looking for good things to eat can tell me if you, the place where you live at sells seeded watermelons? They don't. Everything that we're getting out here is a hybridation of whatever the fruit it is, fellas. All right? And what that means is less nutrients, less minerals for you. So you might be out here thinking that you eating all good, all right? You might be thinking that you having your, your grapes, all right? Your, your pears, your peaches, your plums, all right? You may, you may be thinking you eating great, bro, okay? But I guarantee you one thing. I guarantee you one thing, that all of those things that you're eating have been sprayed with some sort of fungicide, all right? And what ends up happening is that fruit absorbs that and then you ingest it into your body. I know it's expensive to be out here and feed yourself, okay? Believe me, I know how expensive it is to feed yourself. I'm a single male. I live by myself. I pay my own bills. I take care of myself. So I know how expensive it is, bro, to go out to these stores and get yourself some good organic foods. All right. I know how expensive it is, but you still have to do it, bro. All right. You still have to do it. Your body needs healthy foods for the immune system to, to function properly. Okay. 
And if you don't have those high vibrational alkaline foods, all right, to make sure your car, your engine, your gas tank, okay, is up and properly running, bro, you're going to have problems coming into this winter time. There is a new variant, ladies and gentlemen. It has been put out. They're starting lockdowns already all over again. So you guys must get prepared, all right? I know most of you might not have the money to try to stock up on some foods. Well, I'm sitting here trying to tell you now, you remember the last necessities, all right, that were very important in the last one. Those are the ones I suggest you start saving up right now, okay? And I mean immediately, all right? Soon as this winter comes around and this weather changes, bro, you're going to have a world of sick people again. Yes, the mask mandate is going to be back, Jack. All right. We going to be walking around here and it's just going to be people left and right going in to get the jab. You already know what's going on. Okay. Y'all have to get prepared out here, bro. All right. There's so many other things that we need to talk about. Okay. Yes, I love semen retention. Semen retention is important. Don't you think I love it? I'm on damn almost 19 months. Can, can any of you guys even holler at me at that level? I know semen retention is important. You ain't got to tell me. I got people coming on the channel trying to tell me about retention. And, and these fools ain't nowhere near where I'm at. So don't try to tell me how to act, okay? I'm trying to tell you guys what's important. And what's important, bro, is right about now, it's time to start looking out for your health, all right? And I mean that, all right? There is something coming, bro. We've talked about this before, okay? And I'm not going to say the names because I'm not trying to get blocked off the channel tonight, all right? But it's coming, guys, and it's time to get prepared, all right? So what I've been doing is I've been stacking up on my food, all right? I've been eating nothing but good food, all right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not caring about walking around looking like some bodybuilder on steroids who's going to end up having a kidney fail or his liver fail. I'm going for long distance and longevity, all right? I'm going for, I'm trying to be, you know, the, the survival of the fittest. I'm trying to be that dude at the end of the race, okay? And in order to do that, bro, you got to get with it. You got to do some studying. You got to understand what your body really needs as nutrition and food, okay? And that is super important. So do me a favor and stay on top of your health, you guys, all right? Matthew says, I have an autoimmune disease and retaining my semen has helped me immensely. The doctor said there was no cure. Now, let me tell you something, bro. I don't know if you've been on to my other channel, Matt. You should. You're a long-term subscriber, man. Okay? All y'all should know about my first channel. And if you're not subscribed to my first channel just because I don't make videos over there, shame on you. Okay? Because I got a lot of information on that channel, bro, that helps you with things that you just said. I had an autoimmune disease. Okay? I had something they told me it was was incurable okay i had that colitis i know all about it bro why do you think i end up going vegan and what ended up curing me was the vegan diet not the vegan diet per se but i i, I labeled it as the vegan diet because that's mostly what i was eating i was mostly eating raw fruits and that's what healed me from an incurable disease there was a time where i couldn't eat anything cooked there was a time where I couldn't eat any meat at all. And every time I ate these foods, guess what would happen to me? It wouldn't digest in my body. And every time that I go to expel it, it would be nothing but blood. Okay? On my mama. I had an um, autoimmune disease. Okay? At one point, and they told me it was incurable. It affected my gut and my microbiome in my stomach so my, my food wasn't being digested. And what did I do to that? Well, I went on a hiatus 
where I ate nothing but fruits and vegetables for seven years. Okay. It didn't take me seven years ultimately to that. But after the fact that I got figured this would be the right diet to eat if it something that was supposedly incurable. Am I lying? Okay. So what I did, bro, is I ate nothing but alkaline fruits. Okay. Alkaline fruits, bro. You're going to have to do it if you want to. All right. There's a lot of people walking around here with so-called autoimmune diseases, bro. All right. And they don't know what to do. And I'm sitting here trying to tell you right now, bro, the number one thing that's going to help you the, never, the number one thing that's going to be able to benefit you and give you some sort of remission, okay, towards that is to go on a fruit diet. You can encompass some uh, some um, veggies in there and well if you want to, okay? You can, you can add all that. But what I did, it was just straight fruits. I would wake up every single morning. I would fast to 12. Right at 12, I would make myself a fruit smoothie. Okay. And then I would have that all the way until it was time to eat dinner. Okay. And then when it was dinner time, I was eating the big, um, whole like fruits. I was eating like, um, big old giant mangoes. Okay. I was eating stuff like that. I would switch it up. Okay. And it all it took me, Matthew, man, all it took me was about a year and I completely reversed all those things that was wrong with me. Okay. And then now I can, successfully eat meat i can successfully eat any type of food with no problems okay so you can be you know you can be saved bro okay i can't use the, the word the c word because youtube is going to block this video just for me saying that but it's the truth you can okay you can reverse all of that so just do me a favor and look into that diet bro Arturo says, what's happening, King? What's up, bro? How you doing tonight, brother? Good to see you stop in here tonight, bro. Good to see you, man. Digital Sandbox in the building. He says, greetings, man. He says, hailing from Washington State, Kissap County. Oh, shit. For real, you over in Kissap? Oh, bro, we're by my neck of the woods. Okay, man. Good to see you in here tonight, man. My man dealing with the super chat. I appreciate that, bro. He says, I appreciate all the good knowledge you spread, G. We'll have to catch the replay. Okay, you must be out doing your thing. You must be out there uh, in the comedy club tonight. Well, that's what's up, bro. I hope you're doing well, bro. For real, tell him, bro. Tell him, bro. Tell him. I appreciate that. Operation Shutdown. What's happening? He's in the building. He says, Always keeping it real. Much appreciated. Oh, I appreciate you, bro, man. Really, honestly, bro. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate you. Operation shut down. All right. My boy Swayze in the building, too. I hear you. I see you, bro. Hope you're doing good tonight, Swayze, man. I really hope you're doing good tonight, man. <laughs> I know you're doing good from what you told me about a week ago. So do your thing, man. Hope everything's good with you, Swayze. Says thank you. So I can't eat protein like salmon steak. Nope. That's what. That's why you will never cure. That's why you will never use that word. It will never happen because you're putting this stuff inside of your body, bro. Okay. And when you get to a certain point, when you have an autoimmune disease, your 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 body's not functioning properly. I.e., your digestive system, the whole nine. All right. So what's happening is that shit's putrefying inside of your guts, bro. All right. And then you have what's called parasites that come along and those parasites come along, bro. And they start eating away, bro. And they start excreting all sorts of waste in your system. Okay. And this is what's happening. All right. So you got to refrain from any, any heavy proteins. Okay. You have to refrain. You have to go on a fruit diet. I'm telling you what's going to work. You have to go on a fruit diet, bro. Okay. And once you go on this fruit diet, what's going to happen is your body's going to start detoxifying of all kinds of stuff, mucus, parasites. Okay. You name it, bro. And it's going to rebuild your gut flora. And then when, once your, re, uh, your gut flora gets rebuilt, okay, everything starts to come online and your body is able to defend itself. See what's naturally happening is your body is actually fighting it off, but it can't. Okay. Because the immune system's been compromised. You got 
You got all sorts of parasites. Okay. You even got bad bacteria overgrowing in your gut, you know, more than the good uh, bacteria. So you got a literal war going on inside your body. So what you have to do is you have to change up the pH on these guys. And once you hit that high alkaline pH, man, okay, they can't survive. Okay. They, they literally can't survive. Okay. They have to find a new host. They have to find something that's acidic. They, that's where they want to live. They want to live in an acidic environment. Okay. So that's how you kick these guys out of your system. All right. This is why everybody has them because the American diet is nothing but acidic food. Okay. I can, I can, you can show me the, the food chart and I can show you that every single food on there that they tell us that we need to eat is acidic. Okay. So if that's the case, now you know why you got so many sick Americans. All right. You got so many sick people in general. Okay. We're under the misconception that we all need to be big and swole. Okay. And why do you think that YouTube, why do you think society promotes this? Because society promotes this because in order to be one of these people, you're going to have to go against every single thing that's natural for the body. You're going on taking steroids. All right. You're eating way too much food, okay? The human body doesn't need that much food to survive, okay? You're you're overrunning your body, okay? Your body's a sophisticated, high, intelligent running machine, all right? And you're putting sludge in this highly sophisticated alkaline body, all right? And what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up doing all these things that I just said, bro, all right? arteries, bad joints, okay, kidney failure, liver failure, heart attacks, strokes, okay, the body is not meant to eat these things, all right, this is what they tell us, this is what they've taught us, all right, and you see firsthand that there's nobody healthy out here in this world, especially on an American diet, all right, you don't see too many happy, healthy Okay, people that are out here eating the sad diet, the standard American diet, okay, which consists of mostly what? Acidic foods, okay? Acidic foods are causing mucus. And what you have when you have this mucus overflow in your body is this is how these invaders, parasites, bad bacteria are able to move about your body, okay, and evade the immune system, okay, because the body can't break down the mucus, okay, it can't expel the mucus, that's why you hawk loogies, right, to expel this garbage out of your body, all right, that is the difference, okay, so you got to understand, once you reverse this, what is in fact going to happen is you're going to be receiving alkalinity through the body, Okay, oxygen, oxygen, um, giving your body oxygen that it needs. Okay, and when that happens, like I said, they can't survive. The parasites can't survive. The back bad bacteria can't survive. Okay, when your body is in the state of alkaline, all right, it destroys them. And then once this happens, your immune system starts working. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter what they throw at us. We will be able to heal ourselves, okay? Once your body is properly functioned, they can't get this temple sick. The Most High created this body perfect. But the problem is the food, the fake food that you're putting inside of this brand new Bugatti Bayron, okay? You're over there putting in this used go-kart gasoline. All right, in a, in a, in a billion dollar car. Okay, this is why you're having the problems that you're having with your body. Okay, but again, everything requires discipline. Most people don't want to fix themselves until they're on their deathbed or they're ill or they're terminally ill. And this is the messed up part. Okay, you don't want to wait till you're terminally ill, bro. All right, to try to fix your problems. You, you want to know how many people I know out there? And I'm telling you the truth, bro. I know so many people out there with freaking stage three kidney disease. Do you know what that is, bro? Stage three kidney disease, bro. When your kidney is, the kidney is the filter, homie. Okay. 
your kidney is the filter of your body, all right? And when your body can't filter the garbage, guess what happens, dude? It ends up back in your body, putrefied, creating living, breeding grounds for parasites. This is why everybody's walking around with the Dunlap disease. What's the Dunlap disease? The belly done done lapped over your fucking waistline and your belt line. Dunlap. Your belly done lapped over your belt line. Everybody walking around and got guts out here. Okay? Everybody walking around fat. Americans are fat, bro. And they're full of parasites because they don't understand what they're eating. Okay? No one wants to put in the discipline for diet because it takes a lot of hard work and it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of discipline. At the end of the day, this is why fucking retention is so important because I told you, and it's the truth, once you focus your fucking energy on retention, bro, the discipline it takes, the self-discipline, you got to understand there's no coach of a football team telling you what to do. Your mommy and daddy are not at your house telling you what to do. You have the fucking, you have the power, bro, to control your life and you're the only one who's going to do it. This is why this requires the most discipline you can ever get from a man because the man is going to have to be self-reliant, bro. Okay? He's going to have to, govern and manage his self and once you do this as a man there's nothing out here that you can't say no to or stop you nothing i put that on my life i'm in i was in a worse situation than most of you people out there in life in general i've been through all kind of hardships i know some of you probably have been through and some of you haven't so if I'm able to use this to make someone as hard-headed and stubborn as me walk the straight and narrow path, bro, okay? Whether that for 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 health reasons, okay, and just for being smart. If if that happened to me, I know it will help everybody out there because we're not all very much different, bro. Okay? It will totally change who you are it will give you that motivation that you need to go out here and put the right foods in your body get the right amount of sleep do the right amount of studying use your time wisely okay and and experience nothing but major growth that's what will happen when you put all of this together with retention your health first, then retention, and you don't open up the master lock, bro. You don't open up the master lock, bro. And now you can go around and do anything you want with confidence. You will find a way because there is a will. Trust me when I tell you, this shit is amazing, bro. I was watching a video earlier today by a youtuber okay and he said this about retention he said retention is not for the weak and i agree with him a hundred percent i've said it i don't know how many streams i've said it but it's not for the weak if you're having problems with retention you're having problems with every single thing in your life this is why i can sit up here and tell you confidently the things that i know because i'm actually doing it and this is why a lot of these guys out here are just confused they can't make long streaks because they have other things in their life that just ain't right but this is why i told you put all your focus here and everything else will fall in line i promise you that Coca-Cola is very acidic. 
from the phosphoric acid. How do you say it? Phosphorus acid. Yes, it's very acidic, man. And let me ask you something. Why is it every single place that we have out here serves Coca-Cola, serves Pops, serves fast food? serves all of this stuff why is it that every single place that we go every single thing that they feed us happens to be acidic you guys just answer that question if they if they care about you so much which all you guys do because you all get offended when we talk about stuff like the jab we talk about stuff like what you shouldn't be eating if 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 they really cared about you why is there a local crack food store, fast food store dealer on every corner? Why is it? We sit here and we point at liquor stores and we point at tobacco stores, but right here around us, every single place that we look, every single thing that we call food, bro, is poisonous for your body. If they really care, if your so-called watchers, the elites care about you so much, Show me one place where we can get nothing but alkaline foods. Show me a place where we can get nothing but seeded fruits. Show me a place where we can go, bro, where the, where the veggies have not been grown and sprayed with fungicides, herbicides, bro. Tell me. Show me one place. You can't. And you now know what they've done, right? They've gone out here to these farmers, bro. They've got these farmers because there was at one point where they were causing droughts, weather machines, okay? They was causing droughts, okay? The farmers lost their crops. The farmers lost this. And you know what they did? They slid in and bought that land from the farmer. And now they're paying the farmer to grow, the, to grow what they want to grow. And what are they wanting to grow? What is one of the number one things these fools are growing? They're growing soy. Okay, let me tell you something about soy. I'm going to tell you a couple stories about soy. I learned real quick on how bad soy is for the bottom, uh, for the body by doing a test on myself. So first off, soy, all right? Soy is one of the number one ingredients that they use in all, all of these foods out here, okay? Whether it's prepackaged foods, whether it's fast foods, okay? Soy has been linked to cause men to get high levels of estrogen, causing them to grow boobies and causing them to change them from uh, uh, masculine to femi. I'm telling you the truth. Look it up. Okay. And they have soy in everything. What is the number one food that they feed these people in prison? What is the number one food that they feed every single inmate in prison? What is the number one ingredient? And you wonder why people are walking around in that place act in the way that they act soy the number one ingredient what is the number one crop that they want to grow out here the soybean why is that because i just told you what it does when you put it inside of a body of a male okay and in all of our foods this is the number one ingredient in there. You don't believe me? Some of you fools are sitting at home right now. Go in your kitchen and look on the back of a package right now. I guarantee you there's something on there with soy in it. It's in everything, okay? And I want to tell you a true story, bro, a true story about soy, how I really figured out how bad. So I already knew it was bad, but I started taking it. I started eating it. And just trying to forget about soy being bad. And let me tell you what happened to me. So what did I notice when I started having too much soy in my body? Well, this is what I noticed, bro. Okay. I noticed that when I had too much soy in my body, I would ejaculate way too fast. Do you hear me? Okay. I could not maintain Every single time I did a test, bro, I did a test for a whole two weeks. Every single time I ate too much soy, guess what? I couldn't last, bro. I couldn't last two minutes, okay? Because that's what the soy does to the body. The minute I got off the soy, the minute I stopped eating the chocolate, because that's what it was, it was a bunch of chocolate candy that I was eating. Okay. 
chocolate. That's what I was eating. The number one ingredient in this chocolate that I was eating was soy lithogen. It was the number one ingredient. And the minute I stopped taking it, guess what changed all the way around? The soy. And then I started doing my research on the Google. And in fact, that's what it causes. It causes premature, premature ejaculation. Soy. Okay? So you got every single thing out here with soy in it. All right? From the jails to the food. And you wonder why people are acting the way they're acting. Because it's in the foods, bro. Okay? You got to think about how much soy is in everything. I'm just telling you the, 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 the small things. Candies. Okay? Prepackaged foods. Most of you don't even check what's in your fast food when you go out to order it. And I guarantee you the number one, one of the number one ingredients in there is soy. You don't believe me? Get on Google right now. Go to McDonald's, whatever your favorite food is. Go to McDonald's website and look at the ingredients. I bet you you've never even done that either. Do you, I bet you, you didn't even know that you could go to these food places websites Go on their websites and see what's actually in their food that they're feeding you. And McDonald's, just like everything else, like I've been telling you, one of the number one ingredients that they use, and it is soy. This is what they're doing out here. The food is a weapon, bro. All right. And this is why we can't find no seeded products. I'm sitting here drinking myself some seeded watermelon juice, bro. You know how long it took me? To, bro, it's the end of the season, and I just now found some seeded fruits. It is getting harder and harder out here to find real food. Just like the green you're smoking. Just like the green you're smoking. I challenge you to go find me some natural green. I challenge you to go find me some green that's been grown from a natural seed. You ain't going to find it. Every single thing out here is hybridized, bro. Okay? Fruits, veggies, and all. And now they're giving us the fake meat. You guys think it's a joke. They're giving you the fake meat. Okay? And then if they're not giving you the fake meat, guess what the next thing they're giving you? They're giving you the Frankenstein food. What's the Frankenstein food? The Frankenstein food is the food that they raise on these fucking... Um, these farms, okay, these, uh, I forget the name of the farms, but these farms were uh, the factory farms. That's what it is. These factory farms are growing animals on steroids. Literally, they're injecting these animals with steroids, causing them to grow at a rapid rate, killing these animals way before their, their bodies mature. OK, they're injecting chickens with steroids, chickens. You can you can usually raise a chicken from a hen to about a in, a in a year. OK, raise it from a hen to a full chicken in about a year and then you can harvest it. OK, but guess what they're doing? You don't believe me? Look it up. I've already done research. They're injecting these chickens with steroids. These chickens are growing to full grown size in 60 days, bro. Did you hear what I said? In 60 days, these chickens are growing to full size, bro, and they're cutting them up and harvesting them full of antibiotics, full of all kind of crap. Okay, so you got to worry about this. This is why you, when you go to the grocery store, you go and you're like, God damn, that's some big ass chicken legs because that's the factory farm chicken that you're eating. Okay. No more chicken like 10 years ago. We had the nice little wings. You could eat the chicken wings. Man, chicken wings used to be so fire, bro. Now you look at a chicken wing and a chicken wing look like a damn GMO chicken wing. Does it not? So this is what they're doing with the, all the food, bro. Okay. From the Frankenstein food. Okay. Like I said, to all the food, bro, that's grown in these factory farms. All right in these horrible living conditions, okay? Could you imagine eating your food, eating your, your chicken, bro, where a chicken is supposed to be out running around on the range, eating bugs, getting exercise, enjoying the sun just like every other animal, except the chicken that you're eating is in a cage its whole life. It doesn't get to exercise. 
is growing tumors and all kind of shit on it because it can't move and it's it's full of all of these disgusting things that they inject into it. It in de- it defecates on itself. It walks around in its crap and never gets any exercise, never gets any clean water. And guess what? They chop it up and serve it to you. It's time to wake up, guys. All right? This is the time right now, bro, where you should be eating the cleanest that you've ever eaten in your life. There's another pandemic right around the corner, bro, and it's involved in health. You heard what they're putting in the great value. You heard what they found in the great value foods at Walmart, right? You heard what they found, right? If you shop at Walmart and you've been buying their fruits and vegetables, you heard what they tested in the great value foods at Walmart. They are poisoning the hell out of you, bro. This is why it's time to seriously strap up your boots, guys. All right? And start living life straight. This is why I will never go back to busting nuts again. Never. Why, bro? Why will the Shade Lion King never go back to busting nuts again? Well, let me tell you. The reason I will never do this, bro, is because I will lose focus on what it is that I have obtained in my sights that I want to achieve. This will throw you off of your path so fast and have you walking back to the life that you tried dearly to escape from, bro, if you don't take it seriously. I know so many of you guys are living in temptation. I know you are because you're not practicing retention. So you, that, that, that fucking temptation spirit has a hold of your ass. And this is why you end up being addicted or having addictions. Because when you don't have a hold of your life, this temptation spirit comes in and has you doing all type of shit that you know you shouldn't be doing. I know. It'll tell you to go squeeze one out. It's okay. But what happens when you listen to this spirit? What happens when you listen to this little voice in your head that's telling you, it's okay, man, let's just go in here and rub out one. Every single time you do it, don't lie. Every single time that you do it, Don't you feel guilty as fuck about it? Don't you feel ashamed? Because you're sitting here doing this in front of your higher self and the most high creator is watching you at all times. That's why you feel like that. But guess what? This is a free energy matrix, bro. You're able to do whatever it is that you want to do. No matter how good it is for you, no matter how bad it is for you. This is why the only the strong will survive. This is why we are called the fucking chosen ones. Stop calling yourself a chosen one if you have not displayed a lick of fucking discipline because this is what it's all about. Chosen ones ain't about a nigga that can do all kind of math problems. That's not what this is about. The chosen ones are the ones who are actually standing up, bro. Through all the shit going on around us, man, putting blinders on and walking a fucking thin line, a thin line out of this matrix, bro. That's a chosen one. And that requires the ultimate discipline. And if you don't got that and you're still breathing, you wasting fucking time. This is why retention is the most important thing that a man should fucking be doing. You're going to unlock all this. We need more leaders in this time, guys. And I know this, every single time 
that I did that. The shame that I felt, bro. The shame that I felt. Knowing I just released my life force energy into a napkin, bro, and flushed it down the toilet because I couldn't control. I couldn't listen to the word. I couldn't control. Tell yourself. Tell yourself that. You're weak. You know why you're weak? Because you can't control. You're in control. Listen to how stupid it sounds. You're in control, but you can't control. Who's the master? You or this little hand over here that's going to say, I'm going to reach into my pants because I'm going to do what I want since you're going to sit here and act like you're going to sit here and act like I ain't ready to do what we've been doing for the last 15 years, the last 10 years, the last five years. You can't, cont- you can't control your hand, bro. Seriously? It's ridiculous out here, you guys. You are in control of your life 100%, man. There is no excuses for the things that you do, okay? But the truth is this, everybody is going through the great, what I call the great test, everybody. And that means you, if you want to make it, if you want to be looked at and respected by beings higher than the people that are here, because let's just keep it 100, there ain't a whole bunch of high vibrating people down here with us. If you want to make it to where all these people are are looking at you, hoping, hoping that you break the generational curses, bro, and free yourself and your fucking family from this hell, then you, my friend, you, my friend, are going to have to start taking responsibility and stop fucking making excuses. There is nothing wrong. There is absolutely nothing wrong, bro, than doing differently than the rest of the world is doing. That don't make you no weirdo. That makes you a fucking smart one. You are not going to fucking jump off the bridge with all the rest of these people. Instead, you're going to climb your ass down in the water, get in a boat, and fucking paddle off. There is nothing wrong with being different. And don't let, ever, bro, let somebody fucking tell you otherwise. West West in the building. I appreciate you, bro. He said, much love, brother. Shave Lion King, I've been following you since 2019. The Morpheus of the semen retention to me. Appreciate that, bro. You were the first person that put me on this journey. First live I've been able to catch you in months. Wes, West, my man, bro. It's so good to see you, man. It's so good to see you, bro. I hope you're doing real good, partner, man. Wes West is one of them real ones. He's been here for a long time. And look at that, bro. That's what you call real supporters, man. Let me guys, let me tell you guys something real quick. I appreciate the real supporters, bro. Okay. Yes, I have a relatively small channel, but I, man, I appreciate real talk, my real supporters. People are going to stick with you, bro, through the ups and downs. People that are going to stick with you no matter what it is that you're doing, bro. If you're not out here misleading and hurting people, if you're not out here lying and stealing and taking people's money, then why can't a person get real supporters? I see so many people, bro, in the semen retention community that sit here that just wait for the day that you slip up and do something they don't like and then they drop the mask and come at you full head okay and try to talk bad about you 
That's bullshit. Okay. I have been nothing but a stand up person in this community. Okay. And there's things that I've been talking about way before most of you even joined this band. Okay. I've been talking about stuff a long time ago. I got videos on here that you guys have never even seen. So certain things that I've been talking about, if I decide to bring them back up again and re-elaborate and share the information, then I'm going to do that. And I don't need fake supporters coming out the woodwork, bro, to try to tell me I'm doing something wrong when I've never been the person to mislead or hurt anybody. The things that I chose to do okay, are beneficial to men, young men and older men. I just want to get that out of the way because I actually had somebody, honestly, bro, come antagonize me about something that I posted who was supposed to be a long-term subscriber, which I told you. This is why at the end of the day, I don't trust anyone because I've even had the closest people to me turn on me just because of something they didn't like that I did, but I've had a, a whole life of consistency. But one thing that you do and they turn their back on you, they were never real in the first place, bro. Okay? Just remember that. If you got somebody in your life that waited, they waited to one moment that you did something that they did not like and then they all of a sudden show their true colors. Y'all need to wake up out there, man. For real. Swayze, what's happening, my man? Swayze says, I've been putting my dick last in the relationship with these women I'm talking to and put it on a pedestal. And man, everything goes my way. They tell me they're grateful I'm in their lives. And that's what I'm talking about. Swayze's a real one. And I'm pretty sure there's many of you out there that are real ones, but that is an example of a real one. That is how you're supposed to live. And you know what, Swayze? I do the exact same thing, brother. I do the exact same thing and I get tons of respect for it. All right. You're doing your thing. And I promise you what's going to happen to you is you're going to lock down that female that you want to, bro. All right. And she's going to be a part of your program. And y'all going to be able to grow, bro, and have a beautiful relationship and blossom into marriage as hope. Okay? But that's what you have to do as a man. I told you, we got to start changing shit around, bro. We can't be like the normal man out here, bro. We can't be out here thinking it's okay to fucking bust and bust and bust and bust and think that we actually going to have it all together up here. It's time, fellas. It's been time. It's time to start getting on this journey. If you're not on it, then don't be a part of it. It's either you're in or you're out. There is no hokey pokey with semen retention. It's either you're in or you're out. And if you chose to be in, I guess what? You are a chosen one. This is the facts. So many people want to know what a chosen one is. Well, you're automatically a chosen one if you chose the path of celibacy and retention, bro. I don't care what no one tells you. I'm telling you, you are a chosen one if you choose the life of celibacy and or semen retention. Because you are the 1% which make you the chosen one. Makes sense, right? Because it's the truth. Most high gave you all the tools that you needed to make yourself the best version that you could ever be, bro. He gave it to you, bro, all in your nuts. And once you decide to hold back and take your masculinity back, bro, it's amazing what opens up in front of you. It's amazing what opens up in front of you, man. I'm telling you, you start to put shit in order. 
You got swag about you now that you never even knew you had. Shh. What? Everywhere you go, bro, people's feeling that energy because you are no type of bullshit type of guy now. You taking a slow stroll in life. You observing everything around you. And that is how you have the eyes to see, bro. Ain't no one going to be able to come into your fucking energy, bro, and misuse you on retention. You'll sniff that shit out even before they get in your circle. I'm telling you, this is the real. Appreciate that operation shutdown, man. Spitting facts. That's just, that's what we do over here, man. That's what we do over here. All right. You guys are looking at you guys are looking at a soldier. You guys are looking at a real soldier, bro. Okay. There's many others. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. There's many others. But you're looking at a soldier. Okay. You're looking at somebody, bro, that has just displayed the most utmost discipline, bro. All right. And is holding himself accountable right here in front of all you that come and watch these streams. 18 months almost back to back, bro. Talk to me. Talk to me. Instead, I could be one of these dudes out here coming home after a long, hard days of work, mad at the world. Mad because everything's so fucking expensive. Mad because I got to fucking work 40 hours a week. Spend all my motherfucking money on bills. Come home. Just want to fucking relax and got to go to sleep and get up and do it all over again. I could be one of these people that just folds under the pressure of the matrix. But instead, I got the fucking force like Darth Vader in this motherfucker. I won't be tested. I won't be tried. I have control of my life. I determine if I'm happy, sad, or indifferent. And I choose the higher route all the time. All the time. I choose the higher route, bro. And all the shit that I done been through in the last six fucking months, and I crack one time to show affection about my chilling should let you know, bro, on how serious of a demeanor retention has gave the shave Lion King. There's not a greater feeling than this. I see guys walking around every day sad than a motherfucker with girlfriends. They're either getting their ear talked off, all right? Or they're constantly going over there depleting their nuts. Their sex drive gets weaker and weaker. Their attitude becomes shittier and shittier. And they don't know why they end up having problems with their lady friends. You can't live your life in a constant state of depletion. At some point, bro. At some point, you have to re recharge the Tesla, dude. At some point, you got to recharge the Tesla, dude. The Tesla requires time down. Plug into the wall and regenerate before you can able to drive that electric, okay? There's, there's the similarity. That electric body that you have, that electric car, for that electric to flow through the body like it needs, homie. There is nothing weaker than a man reaching in his pants with his own hand and touching himself. Men don't touch themselves. Women touch men. Men don't touch themselves, bro. I don't know what you've been told and fuck what you heard. Real men don't touch themselves beta men perverts molesters 
touch themselves. Real men get served by women. And that's on everything that I love. And this is why there's the, this is the time of the great division. The time of the great division, bro, where it's either you're masculine or you're beta or you change your sex. This is what's going on out here. And I choose to be the real man, bro. 99, fuck that, 110% of the time. And this is what you should be doing. Because if you don't, guess what's going to end up happening, G? Guess what's going to end up happening, G? You going to fucking be one of these men that are going to be walking around here contemplating suicide. You think I'm playing. Truth and Broadcasting Station, what's happening with you, bro? He says, King, I recall you did vegan before a while back. That's what fucked you up, according to you. You were promoting red meat. What made you flip back? I didn't flip back, and I never promoted red meat. So you guys watch videos and you misunderstand what I'm saying. I've always promoted the vegan diet, okay? But what I said happens is on a vegan diet, if you're not spending the money for the absolute best, you're going to become deficient really fast. We just talked about, I don't know if you just popped in, but we were just talking about early in the stream how all the fruits are hybridized, all the fruits are GMO, all the fruits are seedless. When you get this type of thing, you, you're losing nutritional value on the foods that you eat, bro. You could definitely do, I wouldn't call it vegan, okay? First of all, that was, that was, that's, that's past information. I wouldn't call it vegan. I call it plant-based or fruitarian diet, point blank period. This is the most optimal diet for just about everybody on the planet, bro. It doesn't matter what someone was eating back then, okay? Back then, the reason I ate meat Okay, and it was raw meat. Okay, actually, it wasn't even raw meat, it was what I called high meat. Okay, was to rebuild my gut flora in my gut. Why was that important? I just sat here and told you if your gut flora is off, bro, you can't you can't digest food. Hence, what I had, which turns into colitis or Crohn's disease. So what you do is you eat the high meat, the raw meat, because when you cook the meat, you kill all the bacteria that is on the meat. And this is why raw foods is beneficial to somebody who's maybe in some kind of a health crisis where they've lost all their micro uh, gut flora. This is why that's important, okay? But once my gut and my um, immune system came back online, I went right back to eating what it is that I was eating. That's what it was for. It was a, it was a time for me to study. Uh, what's his name? Um, Vonderus Vonderplant, whatever his name is. That's the guy who promoted eating raw eggs, raw milk, raw beef. And if you don't know his story, what he said was, he said that he was dying and he was on his deathbed, okay? This dude was about to give up on life. He was dying, was deathbed. Didn't eat food, didn't eat nothing because he had an incurable so-called disease. So he decided that he was going to go into his uh, refrigerator and eat the only food that he had, which was molded raw food. And guess what he ended up doing? He thought that it would kill him if he ate those foods. But guess what it did instead? It actually rejuvenated him. Why did it rejuvenate him? Because the bacteria is what is in our guts, which what we need to have our freaking immune system run at tip-top shape. Your, your gut flora has to be on point, okay? You have to have high gut flora, bro, if you're going to have a, a, a properly functioning immune system, point blank period.
Okay. That's why that's important. The reason I want you to eat an alkaline diet is because our bodies are alkaline. Alkaline. So everything that we're eating is acidic. We're eating cooked foods, bro. We're eating cheeses. We're eating past, unpasteurized milk. Or excuse me, pasteurized milk. Okay, which is doing what? Again, killing the bacteria in the food. This is why I told you to drink raw milk because raw milk was a superfood. Why? Because raw milk retains all its natural bacteria. You could drink gallons and gallons of raw milk and live yourself from things that you've had. You can do that. That's why it's important. That's why eating anything high in, in bacteria, which is, you know, letting it, you know, raw milk doesn't rot. You can set raw milk out, okay? They call it, um, they call it uh, kefir, 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 and uh, what's the other one? Um, I can't think of the other right now. But that's when you let the raw milk sit there, okay, and you let it age. And what happens is the bacteria inside of the milk eats all the sugar. And when it eats all the sugar, bro, okay, that's when you can now consume it. And when you consume it, it's going to go into your gut, bro, and do the same thing in your gut and rebuild your immune system. There's also research claiming that red meat is healthier than chicken. The truth is, truth broadcasting station, since you like the truth, bro, I'm going to give you the truth, man. The truth is, it's all bad for you. It doesn't matter how much, how little one is better than the other. It's all bad for you. So, you know, that does, it just like literally makes no sense to argue the point between those two because they're both bad for you. So it doesn't matter which one is healthier. Okay. Red meat is way worse if you ask me. Okay. Red meat is way worse, okay? Because number one, people are not eating just plain red meat, okay? They cook their red meats, okay? Which you're, you're adding carcinogens to it at that point, okay? Which is cancerous, which is, makes it 10 times worse. Chicken, okay? Most of the time, okay, that you're eating chicken, you're eating either fried, okay? I don't know too many people that eat it baked, but most of the people are eating fried chicken, okay? Which is just as bad, okay? which is going to end up giving you some kind of heart condition. All right. It's all bad for you. All right. The best thing to eat for you, just because it does not, may not taste the way you want it is fruits and vegetables, plain and simple, bro. Okay. But the problem is a lot of people don't want to give up what they've already built. A lot of people have bigorexia. A lot of people have, a, a, you know, body self image problems. Okay. They want to walk around and look like the influencers. And I told you why the influencers are here. The influencers are here, bro, to make you follow them, which is going to make you lose your health. Every single influencer out here, bro, that is that has all these hundreds and thousands of subscribers and millions of views, bro, there's not very many of them out there that are actually telling you the truth about your health. All of these guys are leading you down the wrong path. All you will eventually be up sick if you keep eating meat. It's just the way it is, bro. Okay. Now, maybe if you could go back, you know, 100, 200 years, you could possibly live a little bit longer, but it's still bad for you. Okay. Because about 100 years ago, they're not using all these antibiotics. They're not using all these growth hormones in the food. But it's still bad for you. The people still died with the same diseases back then than they are doing today. The only difference is today they're dying faster. So it's the exact same crap back then, bro. Okay? That's killing people that it is today. The only difference is they're adding more to the foods. Okay? Unnatural things, bro. Okay? And there's more of it in abundance. Fast food places, etc. So this is why people are dying. They're still dying from the exact same diseases. So it's never been good. One thing that you will never hear is someone dying of eating fruit. 
One thing you will never hear is someone dying of just eating a strictly plant-based diet. You don't hear about these people die. These people live a long time, bro. And the reason you don't hear about them because you have to go and do your research on these stories is they're not going to promote that on the news. What do they promote good on TV? What, why do you think that they would tell you about these people living an extraordinary long time on a fruitarian diet? Why would they tell you that? That goes against every single thing that they're doing out here in the matrix. They're not going to tell you anything like that. The, the problem is we wait for them to give us the information, okay? And then we want to take it as facts because we've seen it on the tell lies to the vision. <laughs> Instead of really do some diligent research on yourself and look for the, 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 the information that contradicts what they're saying, because it's out there. There's plenty of little small uh, posts that people have made on Google that you have to look for, but it's not going to be in the first top 10, 10, 15 pages. That's how Google runs it. People pay to put their information in the top engine searches. So you'll never find this information. You have to really look for it, bro. Okay. But I'm sitting here to tell you that this is no biases. I don't care what you decide to do as a person. You decide what you do. I told you this is a free energy matrix. But just remember, all your actions will have repercussions. <laughs> all your actions that you're unaware of are going to have repercussions, bro. All right. It's going to catch you. You're not, we're not supposed to be eating that. I wish it was different, bro, but we're not supposed to be eating that, man. Okay. The body is not, that's the type of fuel that the body's not looking for. The body breaks stuff down into sugar. Use your head. Okay. That's all you would have to do is just go do research on what does the body do with the food when it digests it and goes all through the slows and it ends up in the fucking blood. What does the body do? The body breaks it down to sugar. That is your food source, not meat, not red meat. That's not your food source. Your food source is the sugar. So you, what you want to do for your body is you want to make sure, give your body a, a high quality sugar that it can actually digest. It takes the body almost uh, two to three days to dispose and to digest some meat, bro. It's putrefying in your system. It's, 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 it's a home. It's our ground for fucking back or bad bacteria and parasites. How is that good for you? There's no way around it. And then the even worse part is where everything that we're eating is secondary nutrition. The animals are out here eating the land. Okay. They're eating the greens, they're eating the vegetation. And then we're turning around and eating them, which is ass backwards. When we have all of these stuff out here in this world that we could take advantage of. But again, we're in the matrix. So wherever you live, they're going to be controlled opposition, making sure that we don't have the best nutrition that we need because it's a part of the agenda is to get you sick. The part of the agenda is to have everyone on health care. Why, why do they force everybody on Obamacare? Think about it. Why do they force you to have medical insurance? Think about it. So you can be in the system. You could say, I'm healthy and I don't need to be in your system. That's what you should be saying. But instead, you're not. And what ends up happening is you end up getting tricked into doing something that's bad for your health. We all do. Because what ends up happening? You get hurt. You get a cold. What's the first thing that you do? You run down to that doctor. And that doctor doesn't know really much. He's only being told what he's. Uh, he's only be doing what he's being told. See, this is what a lot of things that you guys don't know about doctors. Doctors don't have free will to try to help you and, and give you a proper remedy. Doctors don't have that. They don't do that. You don't believe me? Go ask your doctor. If you don't believe me, go ask your fucking doctor. They're not going to do that. They have to do what they're told. They sworn an oath, bro. Okay. They have to practice what they were taught. That's why it's called a practice because they're practicing on you with all these new freaking pharmaceuticals and all these new pills that they're using out here. They're practicing on you. And it's never, it's never a remedy. 
I want you to understand this. It's never a remedy. All it is is to stop the symptoms. It's never a remedy. They're not getting cured from the stuff that they're giving you. Think about it. Go do the research. Tell me one person that's gone cured, got cured by going to the doctor on anything. Cancer, AIDS, HIV, any STD. Think about it. Show me one thing that they've made that cured it. Because they don't try to do that, bro. They don't give you no remedy. They don't give you a remedy. They give you something to stop the symptom. So you don't feel the pain. This is what they do. Okay. And again, it's unnatural. And what ends up happening is your body ends up rejecting it. And now you got another problem from putting foreign, foreign, okay, because that's what it is, foreign pharmaceuticals into a high energy alkaline body. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Come on, man. You ain't got to be smart for this. I can go on to, to a street and talk to a bum. This is, this is common sense. I could talk to a little kid and they'll understand what I'm telling them. What do you think is going to happen, man, when you put this garbage inside that pristine running vehicle? This is why they control everything, okay? This is why you have to break out of the matrix, bro. You got to show some discipline, all right? And you got to do things that you're not used to. That's the only way you're going to get out of here, bro. That's the only way you're going to survive. Okay. There's nobody out here, especially out there in the outside society that has your best interests. You're worth more gone than you are alive. This is the facts. Okay. This is the facts. So just understand, man. Yes, it, it, it might not be for you yet. But I'm just trying to tell you, don't wait to the last minute, bro, and try to fix yourself because you're not going to have a good outcome, all right? I'm here to warn you. I was a healthy guy at, at that time that I had gotten sick, okay? And I never thought it would happen to me. And guess what? It happened to me. So I know, just like it didn't happen to many of my family members, friends, people that I read stories about, people that I see, it happens to everybody because your body is not meant to have that food that they're giving us, period. That doesn't matter either. Again, that's that's what you call bro science. That doesn't even matter, bro. Okay, it has nothing to do with uh, us. Okay, we're completely different from these animals, bro. We're completely different. Our system is completely different than them. I just told you that our body, it wants sugar at the end of the day. Okay. I'm not telling you to go get a whole bunch of white sugar. That's not what I'm saying, bro. Sugar, natural sugars. That's what your body breaks down to fuel. Okay. So what else is out there that we eat that is just has sugar in it. That's going to be good for our body. Meat don't have that. Meat doesn't have that. Meat has uric acid, creatines. I mean, you're drinking, you're drinking piss of whatever the, the animal is. Uric acid. You're drinking all of this. You're eating all of this stuff, bro. Putting it into an alkaline body. It makes no sense. It just makes no sense. And it's not even worth arguing. This is why I don't even argue about health because it's not even worth arguing. It's common sense. And again, like I said, eventually everybody wakes up. Okay. But it's going to take for you to see that they can't do nothing for you when you get sick before you start trusting yourself, which most of the time is too late. Most of the time it's too late, bro. Okay. This is why I'm telling you now, uh, I'm a chosen one. I'm here. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the message. I'm warning you. You have to look at the, you have to do this stuff. Now you have to look out for yourself now, bro. Okay. Because there's nobody else going to do it for you. All right. We all got choices, man. All right. It just lets you know how weak of a mind you got. If you wake up in the morning, you say, I'm going to McDonald's and get me a McMuffin. That's a weak mind. When you just sat up here and were told that all this stuff is bad for your food and you choose to go the same path. You're choosing to go the same path. 
instead of saying, you know what, I'm going to take control of my reality, bro, and I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to give what's natural a try and see if it works for me. And I'm telling you, it works. It, it'll take, it'll, it's the remedy from all these, these problems that we're having. It is. This is why they kill people off. This is why they, they got rid of the late Dr. Sebi. I'm telling you it works. Okay. But again, we've, we've been accustomed to it a lifestyle. Okay. We're surrounded in the matrix by all these temptations because that's what it is. All this stuff's in temptation. You can literally walk through here through this matrix, bro, and literally say no to just about everything. You literally could do that. Okay. But it would take a lot of discipline. All right. And this is why they have it set up so perfectly. If I'm not going to get you by releasing your seed, I'm going to get you by you eating garbage. Okay. I'm going to get you by you catching some disease from eating all this fake food out here. Okay. You have traps wherever you go. Okay. The food makes you depressed because it ain't real food which leads to you coming home and reaching in your pants and relapsing. You think I'm lying. It's the matrix. It's all connected. But again, it, it, it's all on you. And when you decide to wake up, okay, I can sit here and I can show you two plus two equals four all day long. But to you, you don't want to do two plus two equals four. You want to go two plus two equals four and, and do whatever you want. That's the problem, okay? And I'm telling you, this is the facts, bro. Just go do go do some more research. How, get on TikTok, let alone. TikTok has tons of information, all right, with people on there spreading the truth. We can't come on YouTube and do it because YouTube will block you. Why? Because they'll, dis, they'll describe it as misinformation when it's the truth. So why, if they're blocking you on YouTube, that should tell you right now, bro, that it's facts. They're blocking you from telling people the truth. The God says, bro, I busted after five months. It was not worth it. Lost all my women addiction. What do you mean? What you lost all your women addiction when you, when you went on retention? I don't, I don't believe you lost all your women. I, mean, I wouldn't call it addiction, but I don't believe you loss you know what i mean the you, you, you know your power to like women i don't believe that you know what i'm saying we're meant to like women but i do believe that you're able to control yourself if that's what you're trying to say bro okay because that's what i'm doing i'm controlling myself all right i'm on 18 months and i'm controlling myself i'm not out here chasing girls i'm not out here chasing lust okay i see guys deplete bro I see guys with girlfriends, man. Okay, I know them. I see them. I know them. And you know what the funny part is, bro? They look like healthy, happy guys, bro, until they start going and being with their girlfriend every day. Every day they're over there releasing, bro. Okay? Losing more and more and more of themselves, bro. Okay? I'm not saying don't have a girlfriend. I want you to have a girlfriend, but the problem is, I want you to have a wife, but the problem is, bro, that you guys have not mastered yourselves in this way yet. And until you do that, bro, you're going to be one of these dudes that's going to just, you're going to cause self-destruction. That's what you're going to do. You're going to self-destruct, bro. Okay. Because all of a sudden you, you get with her, man. And now you're over there every day of the week. And when you're over there every day of the week, you know what's happening. You're not retaining. You're depleting yourself, bro. Week after 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 week with a girl, bro. Okay. You're doing it. This is what you're doing. And you might think you feel good because your dopamine is going off in your head. But once that dopamine wears off, bro, and reality sinks in, you have that post nut clarity and you start to see what happens to yourself. You start to see that you just, you don't have the motivation. You're starting to feel depressed. Things are bothering you. You're not being creative. You're wasting time. You're being lazy. Do I need to go on and on and on and on and on and on about what happens to you? It's no joke out here, bro. And you want to know the worst thing, bro? Let me tell you something, man. 
the worst thing out here, bro, is it's very hard to please these women. Did you hear me? Let me let me say it again, bro. Let me say it again. It is very hard out here to please these women, bro. Do you realize how hard it is? Do you realize how hard? I bet you most of you don't even understand. I bet you most of you don't even have a girl. You don't even understand how hard it is to please a woman. Do you know how much energy, bro, that you have to give to please a woman? Not only just any woman, but a woman that's supposed to be your main one. Now, if that's your main one, that's your wife, more power to you. But this is why the act is just a waste all in all by itself, bro. Because of how much energy that you must give to keep a woman happy and for her to pack up and leave your ass the minute that you cannot provide that anymore. It's not worth it. This is why retaining is the way of life, bro. Until you find one that you really want to deal with because she is going to drain you. And every way around the board, she's going to drain you, G. And guess what? It comes with being with the woman, bro. It comes with the territory. These women out here, bro, let me tell you something about these women, bro. You ever heard and wonder why a girl says when they say, ooh, we want a man with the big old ding ding. Do you get it when they say, we want the man with the big old ding dings. We want the man with that wood. We want the man with the big old sticks. Why, do you get why women say that? Let me tell you guys in case you didn't understand why women say that. Women say that out there, bro, because you know what women are doing mostly these days? These women mostly these days is out here is playing with double-sided dingle hoppers. Do you know what a dingle hopper is? She playing with a double-sided dingle hopper. And then here you come, trying to please her. Here you come, trying to be the man, standing up all tall, ready to dive in the guts. And what you doing? You ain't hitting shit. She ain't even feeling you. And don't act like, don't act like you sit up and think I'm capping. Let me tell you what, let me show you what she be doing. She be sitting back, bro. Checking her cell phone while you all up in there. She back up there turning the volume down on the TV, bro. Why you up in it? Why? Because you ain't hitting nothing, bro. These girls are out here playing with these things, bro. Okay? They're playing with these things, bro. And it's going to be damn near impossible to satisfy them with what you packing. And you think this is cap. I'm not capping. I'm telling you the real, okay? They got all sorts of tricks that they playing with now. They got vibrating toys. You can't vibrate like that. You can't vibrate like that. You can't switch the speed up, slow to fast, the super fast. You're not filling her completely up with fucking meat. This is what's going on out here with these women. And you wonder why the level has hit to the level it is with them being promiscuous, bro. Because the average man is just not happening anymore, okay? Everybody's been ruined. We've been ruined with the pornography. The women have been ruined with the toys. So now her, you come dealing with her. Like I said, you be trying, to, you be trying your hardest to beat it down. And here she go looking around the room while you all up in it. She reaching down, reaching over, adjusting the covers. She over there looking in her purse while you digging them out. She turning the volume down. She adjusting the fan while you all up in it. Because this is what they doing. And this is why you hear women say today why they want a man with a big old stick. Yeah, because... They've been playing with these things, bro. And now a regular dude like you come in and there, you're not doing anything for her. I'm sorry. You're not doing anything for her, bro. Okay. I'm just telling you the way it is. 
all right? They can sit here and cap all they want, bro. This is what's happening with these girls. They playing with them. And it's time somebody called them out about it. And I'm telling you what it is. I know. I've had my exes tell me that they play with them. They tell me openly. They told me that it messed up all their sexual juices down there. Openly. I'm not capping. I'm telling 100% facts. So you weighing all these different things out here, bro, trying your hardest to try to keep a woman happy at the end of the day instead of putting all of that fucking energy into your own life. Do you know how much further you will be? Do you know how much better off you will be? All of that energy, bro, all of that time, all of that concentration, all of that focus could be redirected on your purpose. And from a year from that point on, you might not even realize who the fuck you are in the future because you don't fucking progress so much. It's the same thing with spilling your seed to the pornography, bro. The same exact analogy can be used to spilling your seed on the pornography, bro. So think about it. Next time you think you're missing out on life out here, next time you think you're missing out on the world because you see all these guys walking around with girlfriends, but you look at them and they genuinely look unhappy because they're literally draining themselves every other day. This is why these relationships don't last. This is why there's so much cheating. Because men out here are not retaining, bro. Men out here are just throwing it away. They're taking it, you're throwing it away. Like I told you, if you really just want to give it up to them for free, that's on you, bro. But at the end of the day, she's taking from you and she's benefiting greatly and you are leaving depleted. Bro, why don't you create your own alpha male course? I uh, listen, I'm 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 not with the I used to be with the alpha male and the beta male. I say it, but I'm not really gonna hold to that. Okay. I say it, but I don't really want to hold it. I don't need to, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to look at myself as something that you know like that. All I'm saying is I'm a I'm a masculine man, bro. Okay. I'm a masculine man. I ain't never forgot, bro. I ain't never forgot, bro on who I am, okay? And I'm going to live my life out like this. I'm not going to change, okay? That's what you need to be. But in order to, to, to get masculinity, bro, you have to have discipline, man. You can't be out here saying you masculine, bro, and you're not out here displaying no discipline. That doesn't make sense. That's ass backwards. It doesn't make no sense, okay? It's all about discipline, G. That's the important part. Okay. And once you do that, then you start to become masculine. You know why? Because masculinity, bro, is very thorough. It takes its time. It observes. Okay. It's not erratic. All right. That's masculinity. And that's what you have to fucking get a hold on your life as a man. And once you become masculine, then, then, bro, from that moment on, bro, all right, you understand that you are different than the rest of the males. Because there's not masculine men out here, bro. All the men out here are in relationships. All the men out here, bro, are married. And guess what's happening to them? They lose in their masculinity. And this is why they end up getting divorced. This is why they end up losing what it is they have because at the end of the day, what happens when you constantly deplete your nuts to your woman, there's going to be a power transfer. 
And once she's got you, the power transfer from you, because now you're depending on having your nuts depleted, she's going to be able to dictate to you on what it is. I'm not saying it's a bad thing either way. I'm just saying this is what happens. She's going to start dictating to you. And once she starts dictating to you, the relationship's over. It's over. Okay? Because now you've gone from the masculine man all right, to the provider, all right? And the dynamics of the relationship totally change. It's the way it is. This is why I promote retaining so much. This is why I promote if you're going to get into a relationship or you're going to be messing with any female, make it your fucking wife because she's the only one worth giving your energy to like that. I'm telling you, she's the only one worth giving your energy to, bro, all right? Other than that, man, you were just fucking doing major damage to yourself and it ain't even worth it, bro. BTD says, need to have a goal or you will be an NPC. Tell them, bro. Tell them. And you won't even know it. And that is the fucking facts. That is the facts. And this is why they give us the pornography for free. <laughs> this is why they give us the pornography for free, bro. Because that's what it turns men into. It, 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 bro, this is why they give it to you. Because it will definitely turn a man into an NPC, bro. You lose yourself, bro. You constantly deplete it. And now they're able to fucking tell you what they want you to do. They're able to manipulate you easier. Society is able to dump down all these fucking agendas on top of you as a man. And you start to contemplate things like suicide. You guys got to fucking wake up, man. Aaron, my man, what's happening with you, brother? Appreciate you stopping in, Aaron. Aaron says, I'm only popping in for a minute. Love you, brother. Keep holding the seed. Been watching you for years, my man. I already see you, Aaron. I know you got your family over there, bro. I know you over there doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and congratulations to you for holding it down, bro. Okay? We already know that's a lot of work. All right? We already know that's a lot of work. So you get a round of applause for holding it down as the, as the family man, bro. Keep doing your thing, man. Appreciate you came through and showing some love on the live stream, bro. Digital Sandbox says, you've helped me along my journey. You've helped me. You've helped me along my journey, my man. I appreciate that, Digital Sandbox. I, I try to help people as, as much as I can, man. That's just who I am, man. I'm a very helping and giving person, bro. And I just want everybody else to experience the good things that have came in my life from since holding my seed, bro. Okay. They it's helped me so much in, in other areas that I can't even I can't even front about, bro. I'm a very professional, I'm a very humble, I'm a very down to earth individual ever since I've been holding my seed, bro. Okay. If you guys were to go watch me back before I was holding my seat, bro, you'll see a totally different character, bro. Okay. I'm still was as passionate and as raw as I was, but you just see a whole different character, bro. Okay. You can see temper flare ups. You can see me getting mad and upset of just people commenting like, bro, I'm so past all of that. Okay. When you're, when you're on 18 months, bro, you're, you're, you're damn, you're almost at God. I'm almost there, bro. Okay. And this time I'm going to hit it and who knows how long I'm going to, I'm going to stay on it. But I'm telling you, I'm almost there, bro. And I feel it. All right. My demeanor is, it's the truth, bro. I, I, I'm i this guy. I'm this confident guy, bro. All right. I don't let anything disturb me or knock me off my pedestal, bro. I walk my own path. I have high energy, bro. All right. I never think negative. All right. I'm always being positive. All right. That's something right there that's special, bro. All right. It's special. And I know a lot of you guys are going to try to get there and you might be able to get there, bro, but you got to show that discipline, man. Okay. Just do it for yourself. Okay. If you're one of these dudes out here to have a chick or you have a wife, I appreciate you guys for watching, but you know what I'm saying? I don't expect you guys to do up here what the retainers are doing.
Swayze says, I give women experiences when they're with me. No sex involved. I don't know how I do it, but sometimes there's serious magic being done on semen retention. Makes you an A1 man. Every woman's dream, no cap. And it does, bro. It does because you're not out there thirsty. All right. Let me tell you uh, another thing about that. I'm glad you brought that point, Swayze. The women, believe it or not, bro, I know this is going to sound weird. Okay. It's going to sound weird. But we think just because when we get with women that we're supposed to have intercourse, we're supposed to do it, we're supposed to do all that. Let me tell you the best thing that you could do as a man to a woman to keep her interest. That is hold out as long as possible, bro. Hold out your sexual energy as long as possible. Now, I'm not telling you if this is someone that you see foresee a future with to engage in her and go out on dates and still be able to get close to her and sure that you're interested because one thing with the woman bro is once you get with a woman bro and you're not showing her that you have interest man she'll move on so you're gonna have to be able to show her that you have interest but while you with her bro the goal is to hold out bro the goal is to not be a fucking beta bro and and and, and let her get your sexual your best parts of you too early in the relationship because all that's going to happen is bro is a breakup shortly after that okay you want to build your relationship on trust bro you want to build your relationship with some discipline and i'm telling you what to do bro hold out as long as possible with the girl that you fucking care about bro why? Because once you start doing that, the dynamics of the relationship is going to change. And a woman is more attracted and gets up for a man more, bro, that has discipline in that area. I'm telling you, it will work. Believe me. West West says, you've been consistent with the same message this whole time, brother. This, the thing with semen retention is you can tell who's doing it and who ain't. It can be felt through the screen. The SOK's energy has remained strong in my own opinion. Correct. Well, facts, bro. Facts. I appreciate that, West West. I really do, man. I appreciate that. So, guys, listen. <clears throat> I'm about to get up out of here, man. I just really wanted to spit that information about, you know, your health. I think that that's super, super important. Okay. Especially right about now. Okay. If you guys missed the stream earlier, early in the stream, I was talking about how we're about to have another one of these pandemics. Okay. It's about to happen, bro. All right. They're already talking about it. talking about a new variant. Don't touch touched over here in the States. Okay. It's over there starting down in Florida, bro. And now you starting to hear the mass mandates coming back. You starting to hear all these different things is about to happen. My advice to you is Remember exactly what happened in the last one, bro, and start a preparing like that, okay? I'm telling you, this is going to happen, okay? Until we as Americans, bro, fight back, okay? The, the, the word that is often used, but no one is standing up to, revolution, okay? Until we take control back, bro, as people come together, put down this racist bullshit, OK, and understand that we are all in this slave game together. Yes, there might be pieces of the game that are unfair, like they chose a certain group of people to have it all. They chose a certain group of people to be poor. They sure uh, chose a certain group of people to do this. They sure uh, chose a certain group of people to do that. OK, but the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, bro, we are all a part of this game and we're all being affected the same way. And until we don't fucking wake up to what's going on out here in this society, they're going to continue to have their fucking boot on our necks, making us work more, okay, earn less, struggle more, and have more stress, which is another way of a slow kill, okay? We have it through the food. We have it through our devices. We have it through them uh, tempting us on, on, on all these sexual images on the internet. OK, and you got it through the stresses of life. So every single place that you look, my brothers, we are having to endure. And the way that you can go through this place, man, I'm telling you as a man, I don't know how to speak for a woman because I'm not a woman. 
but go through this place as a man and not be affected in the ways like you think is to hold your seed. Trust me. It is a man's protection. Until you're ready to come off of it, fellas, retain, 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 okay? And at the end of the day, you going to gain and gain and gain. And you going to reframe from the game, all right, and stay on top of the game. Trust me. You guys have a good night, man. And I'll talk to you on the next one. I appreciate everybody for coming in here. Um, let me see if I miss anybody. Jay Garcia, appreciate you for being in here tonight. Jay Garcia, my boy Damien was in the building. Appreciate you for being in here tonight, Damien. Who else is in here? Um, is that uh Earth Mo? Who's that? Earth Ma Five. I appreciate you for being in here, brother. We got uh C Platinum in the build. I didn't even check you in here, man. I'm sorry I missed all these messages, bro. I appreciate all you guys, man. Uh, true from broadcasting. I appreciate all you guys, man. Yes, that's very true. Pro, uh, true broadcasting station. I would that is very true because I was not retaining during that time, and actually I was very upset during that time. I'm glad you peep game, and that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I still have that bag. Do you see me beating up that bag? Okay. What I do do, though, is I do take my time, bro, and I do work out. I go for walks, all right? I study, all right? And that's how I transmute my energy. All right, guys, before I get out of here, we're going to hit, gonna hit 25 push-ups. We're going to hit 25 push-ups before I get out of here, guys. Hold on a second. Have a good night, folks. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.